The physical presence calculator is for permanent residents applying for Canadian citizenship as adults. You need to submit it together with your citizenship application. To be eligible for Canadian citizenship, you must have been physically present in Canada for at least 1,095 days in the five years immediately before the date of your application. We encourage you to apply with more than the minimum requirement of 1,095 days of physical presence to account for any miscalculations of absences. Please note that you cannot meet the physical presence requirement without a minimum of two years as a permanent resident. When calculating your time in Canada, only the five years immediately before the date of your application are taken into account. Each day you were physically present in Canada as an authorized temporary resident or protected person before you became a permanent resident counts as half a day, up to a maximum of 365 days. Each day you were physically present in Canada after you became a permanent resident counts as one day. Time spent serving a sentence for an offense in Canada, such as serving a term of imprisonment, probation or parole, cannot be counted towards your physical presence. Important Notice for Former Refugee Claimants or PRRA Applicants If you were issued work or study permits while your refugee claim or pre-removal risk assessment was being assessed, these documents did not grant you temporary resident status. You cannot use this period of time in your physical presence calculation. If you are claiming time as a protected person, the only time allowed is the time from when you received a positive protected person decision on your refugee claim or PRRA application until the day before you became a permanent resident. You can use the calculator to find out if you have been physically present in Canada long enough to be eligible for citizenship. If you have, the calculator will tell you that you are eligible to apply. If you have not, it will tell you when you will be eligible to apply. Let's start the calculation. Go to the official website of the Government of Canada, Canada.ca. Search Physical Presence Calculator. Click Physical Presence Calculator. If you can't find this link, you can click the link in the description below. Click Start Calculation. Enter the date you will sign your application. Enter the date you became a permanent resident of Canada. You can find this information on the back of your permanent resident card. Click Calculate. Did you spend time serving a sentence for an offense in Canada between March 28, 2016? and March 27, 2021. Select No. Click Submit. Click Continue. Did you leave Canada between March 28, 2016 and March 27, 2021? Select Yes and click Submit. Only the five years immediately before the date of your application are considered for calculating the physical presence requirement. Day trips, in other words, absences where you left Canada and came back on the same day must be declared. Now select the destination country. Enter the date you left Canada, the date you returned to Canada and the reason you left. And then click Add Absence. Now we can add another destination. Let's add one more absence. If you visited more than one country during the same absence, list the first country in destination and list the other countries in the reason field. Let's say you visited Europe in 2019 and the first country you visited was France. Select France here. And list the other countries here.
If you made a mistake, you can modify it. If you have listed all your absences, click Calculate. If you found any mistakes here, you can go back to the beginning of this calculation by selecting Modify. If everything is OK, click Print this page. If you are applying for Canadian citizenship on paper, you must print this out and submit it with the other documents. If you are applying for Canadian citizenship online, you can select Save as PDF and then upload it to your online application. If you want to save this calculation, you must register and log in your account. For more information on Canadian citizenship and immigration, subscribe our channel and click the notification bell.